So, can you start by talking about what video games you played growing up? Well, I loved uh, Mario, Mario Super Brothers, and the old Nintendo, the old Nintendo games. I used to play like the duck one, you know, with the gun, okay. and uh, yeah. Um, oh man, I had a few of them that I really liked to play. I had a Sega Saturn, like all this, yeah, this stuff. Um, I wouldn't call myself much of a gamer necessarily, but it was occasionally where I would just be like addicted. I would find it one game, Metal Gear Solid. I actually loved that game, and I played it from like beginning to end, like the whole game, beat the whole thing, and yeah. Mario Brothers is still one of my favorite, all-time favorites, though. What is it like a favorite memory that stands out from playing back in the day? Um, I think just, I don't know, I can't think of a specific memory, but I just remember, like, I would go to school and I couldn't wait to get home just so I could, like, play the game. You know, like, you're just so addicted and you, you, it's like, anytime that you're away from it, you just want to play it. So, I don't know. I can't think of one specifically. I just remember there was a period of my life for, like, a couple months where I was just, like, all about the, you know, all about playing that game, like, 24-7. What are your thoughts about how far games have come since those days? Well, the uh, evolution of the technology has been incredible. Like, the, the definition of the games and the 3D and the, the animation of everything is just... I mean, it's almost like just watching, it's almost like real life. It's like so intricate. It's, it's really amazing. And compared to then, it's like like stick figures versus like, now it's like to like real people. They're like real. Yeah. And speaking of real people, what's it like to see yourself in a video game? That's pretty surreal, honestly, and I think they did an amazing job. I think that they definitely captured it when I'm, I'm pissed off and I'm in the ring. They, 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 like, they have that facial expression in there, like, yeah, I do make that face when I want to punch someone. <laughs> it's pretty good. Have you gone in and played? Oh, yeah. I played the game, yeah, for sure. I went and beat up all the other girls in my division, like I'm going to do in real life. <laughs> do you feel like your, your knowledge in, in the real Octagon helps you when you're playing in the video game? Well, yes, because I know that like if, if it goes to a decision, I'm like, okay, well, I want to try to take him down at least one time every round so that I, I know that I'm, I'm going to get the decision if it goes there, you know? But yeah, I think so. What advice would you give to someone who's playing as your character in the video game? Um, well, I would say uh, block the head kicks and, <laughs> and go for takedowns. What do you feel it means for, for female uh, athletes to have women rest, women fighters in this video game for the first time? Well, I mean, I, I think it's important that women have a presence in, in, in the UFC and in MMA, and I think it's a, you know it's empowering. So it, it only makes sense that they would include us in the video game, and I think it's good for young girls that are growing up that they can feel equal, you know what I mean? That they have the same equal rights and equal playing field, and you know whatever that they want to be in life, you know, whether it's deemed as a, a you know a man's world or not you can still find success in it so I think it's pretty awesome that we're a part of the video game and and I think that uh, a lot of people will really really enjoy that now MMA is a very complex sport what role do you feel this video game plays in helping to educate people about what's going on inside the octagon well I think that this like uh, makes it a little bit more friendly and you know familiarizes the fans with the sport in, in a way that a lot of other people can identify you know so I think it kind of bridges the gap you know there's a lot of people that maybe you know they're really into video games and they love it and they, they don't really maybe know much about MMA or sports or whatnot and this kind of bridges that gap it kind of brings everyone together and I, I think that that's a great thing what's it like for you to be able to walk around and experience PlayStation experience with all these video games well um, I I finally got to walk around a little bit I went and saw like the the, the whole deal and it's pretty intricate um, I really had no idea what to expect when I showed up here yesterday to do the signing but um, this is amazing and what but there's like 12 huge TV screens just sitting right around me as I look around and people are playing soccer and football and UFC and uh, I mean it's just crazy. I keep looking at this big screen over here and they're playing the uh, the, the new characters um, that, that, that were just released, the legends, yeah, and I keep thinking it's a commercial. I keep thinking it's like real, the real people. I keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh, it's a video game, but it's just crazy how realistic it is. As a fan of MMA, what, it, what do you feel it means having those legends in there and being able to play against current day? legends well I think it's essential because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them you know they're the ones that really kicked this sport off and uh, it's like it's, they're a huge part of MMA they're very iconic for a lot of us you know fighters and I think that uh, for the history of the sport you know it's absolutely necessary to have them be in there you know so you feel being here will get you back into video games at all 
Actually, yeah, totally. I want to walk around after this and like go play some games. It's, it makes me want to just, yeah, sit, sit and veg out and play video games for a little bit. I mean, you won't find them here because it's Sony, but Nintendo keeps making those Super Mario Brother games for you. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, I love Mario. I just, I, I've always been, I mean, this was the first game I played when I was a little kid, the little tiny Nintendo set, so yeah, it's good.